Hey guys, Sean with Custom Offsets, Custom Offsets TV on the YouTube. Got another one of our shop trucks today. This one we just finished up to uh, just run around town. It's gonna be lowered at 4.6 drop, something a little different. 03 Chevy Silverado, and she's gonna be on some 22s. Let's go! Like I said, we got sick of lifting wheels and tires into all of our lifted trucks, which is a big pain in the butt every time we gotta haul something. So we got this one from uh, John here at Custom Offsets, one of our uh, Johnny Black label light in that guy. Hey, there's this Hummer, show him the Hummer. So he got the Hummer, so we got the shop truck. This is gonna be a 2003 Chevy Silverado 1500, two wheel drive, and it's got the uh, five three liter LS motor, which is actually pretty rare for the short box standard cab, so they tell me. And what we did for wheels and tires and suspension is it's gonna have a four inch drop up front, a six inch C notch drop in the back. So suspension up front, if you peek inside of there, Walter, you can look in between these spokes. See that lower control arm there? I have to come this way a little bit. So that lower control arm is gonna be the only thing aftermarket up front, and it's a DJM suspension. So what that's gonna do, it's gonna drop that lower control arm. That dang NSX is loud. It's gonna drop that lower control arm so that you end up keeping the factory coils because that bucket's just gonna drop down so that factory coil still fits in there, but then you have this four inch drop. And then for wheels, you're gonna see they're the 22 by nine OEM replicas. And then those, and it's a plus 30 offset. You're gonna see it's wrapped in a 26540 R22 Nitto 420S. So that's gonna be about a 30.3 tall and about a 10.4 wide. And what that does is it basically only made us have to do a little tiny trimming on the bottom up there and nothing back here with no rub. So that 30.3, 10.4 on a nine wide plus 30 is a perfect fit when you get into the four six drops on these 1500s. And then in the rear, it's gonna be an axle flip. So leaf springs come out, axle goes on top of leaf springs, flip over U-bolts and then C-channel, or C-notch. So that's what it's got for suspension, wheels and tires. And I would say it ended up pretty much a perfect fit. This is exactly the look we were going for. It definitely makes loading things into the back super easy now. It's also got a bunch of other stuff. So we'll start front to back. You'll see it's got the SS front bumper swap out. And it's got a complete custom setup for the headlights. You'll see it's got projectors added inside of there and some black label cubes. And then LED, everything else, cleared out corners. It's got an HD swap out hood. So it's gonna have the 2500 HD hood painted to match. Sport mirrors. 50% window tint, side windows and rear window, tinted out. And then out back, starting to regret parking underneath this semi welter Out back, you'll see it's got some aftermarket tail lights, aftermarket third brake light, and then the roll pan rear to clean up, give that real sport truck look to the rear of it. And then inside, 
pulled out the stock bench, swapped it with a center console and two bucket seats and some weather techs. I think that's just about everything. Give you a peek on this side. Don't look too close down there. We're working on a Hoonigan sticker where somebody already smashed into something with it, but that's part of the shop truck life. You'll see shorty antenna. Get that, Walter. It's probably the best part. So that's pretty much it. That's the, like I said, the four six drop with C channel in the rear and then some 22 by nines and basically some 30 inch Nitto 420s to round out our new super fast race truck shop edition.